everybody, call me Felix, and my cousin JP recently challenged local Filipinos to a sexy corn dog eating contest. It's not the Nathan's hot dog eating contest on Coney Island on the 4th of July. It's JP's urban corn dog company in Kurimao, Ilocos Norte, that doesn't care if Joey Chestnut can finish 100 hot dogs in 10 minutes, but how sexy he can eat one in 30 seconds. Cousin JP enlisted six Ilocanos to eat one corn dog in the sexiest way possible during the Mercato Ni Nainai Ses street food pop-up event in Kurimao. Co-sponsoring this event was yours truly and my own little street food pop-up venture, the Funnel Cake Factory, which is bringing American funnel cakes back in style in the Philippines. But more on more funnel cakes in our videos to come. Now then, here's the sexy corn dog eating contest with a little bonus coverage of a couple of street food pop-ups I reviewed. And here's how the sexy corn dog eating contest went down. Enjoy. <laughs> Don't be shy. Step right up. Hello, huh? sal, sal kayo. All right. Huzzah. We got our first two contestants. Wow. Wow. What's your name? Okay, go. Which one? Casey. Casey, come on. Casey, come on. Let's go. All right. We have three contestants. We need seven more. Come on. Three more girls, four more guys. Casey. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Alright, I need three more girls and I need four more guys. Yes. So we have three contestants. We need seven more. Master Shwarma. Master Shwarma, join tayo. Onya eh. I need four more boys, four more guys. So I'm gonna walk this way and you're running here. You're running here. Alright, see? 2,000 pesos. Where's the 2,000 pesos come from, JP? <laughs> Sponsored by Thurman Corn Dog Company and okay. Funnel Cake Factory. What does that mean? <laughs> four more boys. Come on, don't be shy. 2,000 pesos on the line. For first place, for second place, 500, 500 pesos. pesos. And for Se third? Yes, and, and consolation of 500 pesos. Right, that's right. See? That's you, fast money. You're just gonna eat fast money. the corn dog sexy. Yeah? Yeah, brought to you by, again, Urban Corner Company and the Funnel Cake Factory. factory. Yes! <laughs> nice, nice. Selfie tayo, tapos, sino mag join the contest? Miko Diso! Miko Diso! Sexy eating corn dog Brought to you by the Urban Corn Dog and the Funnel Cake Factory. Say it louder, JP, for those on the bottom and the back. All right. Funnel Cake so Factory. Lang natin, ha? Come on. Okay, Kuya, can you give us sexy music? Yeah, you can be judged for 30 seconds. Oh! Call a friend, Call a friend. 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 Call a friend.
Thank you. So, please try a new venture of Funnel Cake Factory. Funnel Cakes from America. Brought yeah. to you in the Philippines. Uh, the winners go. From three to one. Wieners. From the first, say on to the, the siyempre yung first grand winner natin. And the gestation of the Board of Judges. For the third place, we have contestant number six. Sorry, contestant sir. Oliver. And our grand winner now first ever sexy eating corn dog now Corban corn dog is number Thank you so much. Ayan, di ba? So, kumain ka lang ng corn dog and you won. First bites of night one of Mercato ni Nana says in Kurima. Um, I'm having something called What you got there, Ben? Oh, snap! <laughs> I got tempura, man. 
Okay, he has some tempura. So we're having drinks. This is not the ideal thing to do on a street food night, everybody. But you know what? This here, this little wonder, has rum, tequila, whiskey, and some Pepsi. And a little bit of lemon, which I have not used. We're having chi pie burgers. So this is a Taiwanese style chi pie with a style of fries to eat up some alcohol. And Ben here has had Tokyo tempura here, um, which I have had before. And of course, there's a band here, always. And look at that, there's more Boondock Strong Ale again. So this is a chi pie burger. Um, this is my first time having it since about July, so three months. Uh, and this was in Piddig, right in front of our house. Remember that one video we did the Samyang challenge? Um, Samyang cheese noodles with Master Shawarma? They were in front of our house. So here you go. This is some chi pie, chicken, and some burger, and some egg with some pink sweet sauce, like some mayonnaise and such. It's piping hot, everybody. So, there you go. Absolutely piping hot. It is hot on my hands. And I'm really hungry, everybody. I mean, I'm very hungry. And especially, I drank three of these strong ales at 8.2% alcohol. And then some of this rum, tequila, whiskey, Pepsi concoction, which is glorious because it does not taste boozy at all. But it sneaks up on you. And so here we go. There's some poached egg there. Oh, uh, some grilled egg on there. Okay, first bite of the night, everybody. Hope it's a good one. I'm gonna have to get to the second bite, actually, because I got really bread and mayonnaise. And that sauce is tasting a little bit sweet. I'll give this credit. Fresh to order. There's some cheap pie fried chicken. And down there, there's a burger. It's so piping hot, the, the camera has fogged up, too, I think. Okay. You can see a little bit of that burger hanging out there. That's some beef, believe it or not. I've been trying to open this just a while ago. Oh, I got distracted, everybody, because Ben can't open up his tempura oh, sauce. <laughs> oh, he can't open his tempura sauce. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's kind of like that edge of the beef and the edge of the chicken that's a teensy bit firm, a little too firm. But, I mean... It's bread, it's sauce, there's creaminess from the egg. And I guess I'm really hungry. This is actually what you would call some appetizers, pulutan stuff. Drinking food. Look at that. Those beef bites. It's like a really soft patty. It kind of crumbles a little too easily. It doesn't really taste like beef, it tastes like... It tastes like celery and chicken put together. <laughs> That's alright. Now, unfortunately, they do not have tornado fries I was looking forward to. But they only have regular fries. And they're coated like Cheetos with cheese powder. Ah, uh, they're pretty nondescript, really. I don't really taste. Which is actually pretty good because it doesn't, it's not sweet, but I mean, it's just, well, it's just fried potato, but kind of, you know, starchy and not, nothing really else but the starch. It's not bad, but I'm saying that because I have three strong ales and half a rum, tequila, whiskey, Pepsi concoction in my system right now. So this is tasting all right. It's like the way people love Jack in the Box tacos when inebriated or under the influence of other strong paraphernalia, let's say. Okay, back for more. I want some more Korean food, which is coming this way. Korean fried chicken, bibimbap. Why, yes, please. Back in a bit. All right, everyone. I have here some Korean fried chicken, but not just any fried Korean fried chicken. It's from all the way at Street Fusion. And they have different flavors of Korean fried chicken. And so what I have here, I think is presumably salted egg. And then they told me the other next thing, best thing to get is honey butter. So that's the reason why we have two. 
and because we need pulutan with our heavy duty drinks. Okay, everybody. It's uh I think this is salted egg. So I'm gonna bite right into the middle of this. It's more like the saltiness rather than the creaminess, really. Because one thing I really love about salted egg is just that salty, sweet creaminess. This one's more about the saltiness. So this doesn't really have like that. You know, I love the sauce when it comes to salted egg and more of it. It's sparse on that. And rather, it's more or less someone had just rubbed this with the egg, salted egg yolk and then just just rubbed it and rubbed it and rubbed it and then basically wasn't like as integrated as I'd like. Uh, it's almost like, tastes like, it's almost like crispy fry. <laughs> Yeah, it's more, it's more salty, really, and then this doesn't have that creaminess, that luxuriousness that I like out of salted egg. But it's, yeah, it's more or less like someone sprinkled salt and more or less rubbed in salted egg yolk on here. Mm, okay, let's get to our honey butter. Now look at this, it's got black sesame seed and some white sesame seed here too. There's pieces of cucumber, of course. So let's give this one a try. Now, honey butter sweetness flavor is pretty much, it's on point. Um, so what I get from this, mainly that honey butter flavor, I kind of feel like it's on crispy fry. Um, it's just all right. There's nothing like sensational about it. You know, it's pretty decent, but I'm not going to be joshing over this anytime real soon. You know, just average, decent, it's all right. All right, everyone, after having some of this Korean fried chicken, salted egg, and honey butter, I'm gonna move on to the bibimbap. I thought the fried chicken was just, yeah, it's okay. Okay, so here we go. I got some bean sprout, I got some beef bulgogi, got some carrot, and there's some rice under here, but um, not burnt rice, I would say. All right, try it out. I get more of that salty soybean paste flavor, but I really want some spice to get cut into that let me see there's some mushroom and then here's some kimchi that's actually fish cake but um i really want something to cut into that salty soybean taste though oh that's a little disappointing because i like that robust beef bulgogi flavor i will give them credit though look at this egg it looks really good and really creamy but for me that um bulgogi is a little overbearing with that saltiness um um and with that sweetness too I wish there was something in this bowl that would cut into that let me try some of that kimchi there you go my kimchi is way more acidic I would have thought. Now you gotta pair it up with this. Of course, with bibimbap, and especially takeaway, you don't get that beautiful burnt crispiness on the end, on the bottom. So I have to mix this around. Really, I guess my bad for not mixing it. But that beef is really salty. Really, really salty. A little too much for me. I like that bold flavor, but it's just a little too much. It's it's over the top for me. Egg cookery is good though. I wish there was more kimchi though. All right, everyone. I think we gotta move on to more food. Um, I gotta finish my drink, everybody. So, back in a bit, we got some more food. We'll get, probably get some more drink. Actually, there wasn't any other food and drink I covered from the two nights of the Mercato Ninai Nices first anniversary in Kurimao because what grabbed my attention was a stall selling liquor shots at an amazingly cheap price of 20 pesos a shot. As in that same stall making dangerously drinkable cocktails of rum, tequila, whiskey, and Pepsi. As for the sexy corn dog eating contest, it was a rousing success, judging from the riots' laughter. Even our champion is eager to defend his title at the next pop-up event. Find out when he's matching wits and lips in the next sexy corn dog eating contest, co-hosted by Cousin JP's Urban Corn Dog Company and yours truly's Funnel Cake Factory. And speaking of funnel cakes, subscribe to this channel on our quest to spread American funnel cakes far and wide throughout the Philippines. And for more of our food and travel related adventures, as we have plenty of them to share. Until the next video, keep cool but care, and remember, the empire never ended.